So when we got the teaser initially, Melimel rapped that he's the king of legends and that everybody should get ready for the kickback. And long story short, the kickback has got the internet like this. You're not the first. Hopefully after tonight, you will be the last. <laughs> Hello again and welcome back to another one and today we'll be exploring Melly Mel's Eminem diss track called Melly Mel's response to Eminem's latest diss. And before it dropped, this was teased as an explosive Eminem diss track loaded to decimate the target. And for some perspective, Melly Mel claimed that destroying Eminem would be the easiest thing he ever did. I, I, I could beat Eminem. Can you beat Eminem in a battle? Easiest thing I ever did. But so far, the explosive only blew up in his face, as on every platform that the Eminem diss has been posted, the most respectful reactions are along these lines. I respect your place in hip-hop history, but that response was not very good. The best responses so far to the diss look like this, which is quite telling, so brace yourselves as this has been a horrible look for the pioneer. And before we get to reactions from rappers and fans alike, here are some key details. Melly Mel's Eminem diss turned out to be just over a minute of Melly Mel dropping bars like, you top 5 is cap, you're the piss that's on the floor in the elevator of rap. And he asked why they put Pee Wee Herman in the Hall of Fame. Now all this was delivered in a style that's a throwback to the 70s, but even baby boomers aren't feeling it. Why you hurt? Why you mad? Now you look bad. Like a roach just crawled out of your book bag. In a pack clad, you lack clad. Go to bed with no supper, cause you gotta suffer the backlash. And here's another one from Melly Mel. I think that Eminem is popping pills again. We call him Pill Clinton, or either Bill Gates. What pill did homie take to make him hate the greats? Now, pioneer or not, we are not tolerating straight up lies, as the same Hall of Fame Mel speaks of shows Eminem in his acceptance speech give credit to the greats. And so far, there's only one side hating, and that's the side of Melly Mel, El Jamar, and the game. And perhaps the most revealing pause that's got many roasting Melly Mel for wasting their time with this garbage is when he got Eminem's name mixed up with Stan's brother. Put Matthew's lights out, I'm turning off his freaking Wi-Fi. And if you recall when King Crooked was asked about his thoughts on Melly Mel vs Eminem, he sounded hopeful. I could be wrong, but I ultimately think this is what Melly wanted and now the ball is in his court. If he drops a great record, it would be dope for the culture in terms of pioneers continuing to shine in this day and age. And back then a user told Crook that this was a bad idea that wouldn't be dope for the culture. And it turns out the user was right as when he was asked, have you listened to the diss yet Crook? He kept it short and simple, don't like it. And when a user expanded, can Eminem recover from this beating? Crook responded, turns out this was a case of mistaken identity, hashtag Matthew. And Detroit rapper Lazarus, who initially asked Crook about his thoughts days ago, is now wondering, why did Melly Mel do that? For the love of hip hop, why? It is wild how OGs like King Crooked and even the DOC sounded like they had high hopes for this, all for Melly Mel to let everyone down with this response. And rapper Make It Facts, who traded blows with Royce of 5'9 a while back, has reacted Reacted to Melly Mel's Eminem diss track in a couple of tweets. First, he stated, Melly Mel counted to eight while dissing Eminem skull emoji. Hit a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna give your fans one more chance to go online and re energize that romance. And he believes Melly Mel is in trouble right now. Eminem bout to set Melly Mel on fire, lol. Probably on hip hop's birthday too, shake my head. If this happens, we can expect El Jamar to have a mental breakdown on Vlad's couch. And for rap fans on the internet, it is secondhand embarrassment across the board. Damn, Mel, you are better off not responding at all. I hope this flies under the radar. I'm embarrassed for you. And some have called for Melly Mel to clean up his circle of friends. Check this out. I respect Melly Mel and what he contributed to hip hop. The message still gets played to this day. Not just the single, the entire album. But goddamn, this ish right here should have never seen the light of day. Shame on everyone who was involved in making this and encouraging it to be released. The people in your circle aren't really your friends, Melly Mel. It is the same on Twitter. I wish he didn't respond. I feel bad for him. He's gonna put a stain on his legacy. That really doesn't sound good. The problem is, rap fans who are Gen Alpha, Gen Z, and even some millennials only found out about Melly Mel recently. And when they hear this diss track, it's gonna be a horrible look for the pioneer. And this is on the 50th anniversary of hip hop. 
and here's what I mean. An interview with Dressing M name dropping you would have gone harder than this, man. I never heard of you and this is how I hear about, jeez. This is why El Jamal has been sticking to Vlad's couch. But once again, remember, Eminem didn't start any of this. Melly Mel was straight up lying when he said Eminem hates the greats and some believe it is time Melly Mel takes a different approach. I hope M won't respond to this. You are a legend regardless but please find the courage to admit you were wrong. Eminem is one of the best to ever hold a mic, period. He's not in my top 5 personally, but that doesn't mean ish, and especially since you are one of the pioneers of the genre, you should have acknowledged that in the first place. While on the other end, some are hoping Eminem kicks a man while he's down. If I was Eminem, I would not take the high road. I would roast the F out of Melly Mel for that. I would flip every garbage line he said in that so-called diss and make the most brutal diss track of all time. I guess the narrative that Eminem only disses pop stars is now dead in the water. It was never true, but Melly Mel just hit that narrative with a coup de grace. <laughs> Share your thoughts below and we'll be exploring more on this in the next video as this is a developing story so be sure to subscribe for more and see you on the next one.